what you see before me. The handle toward my hand. Come, let me clutch the hand. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not fatal vision, sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou by the dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from the heat of present brain? I see thee yet, in form as palpable as this which now I drew. Thou marshalst me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made to fools or the other senses, or else worth all the rest. I see thee still, and on thy blade and dutch and gouts of blood, which was not so before. There is no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. Now, what a one half world nature seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse the curtain sleep. Witchcraft celebrates pale Hackett's offerings, and withered murder, alarmed by his sentinel, the wolf, whose howls his watch. Thus, with his stealthy pace, with Tarquin's ravishing stride, toward his design moves like a ghost. Thou sure and firm said earth, hear not my steps which way they walk, for fear thy very stones prate of my whereabouts, and take this present horror from the time which now suits with it. Whiles I threat he lives, words to the heat of deeds to cold breath gives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. about it. The doors are open, and the surfeited grooms do mock their charge with snores. I have drugged their possets, that death and nature do contend about them, whether they live or die. <coughs> Alack! I am afraid they have awaked and tis not done. The tempt and not the deed confounds us. I laid their daggers ready. He could not miss him. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. My husband! I've done it, Eve. Do you not hear the noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? Now. Is that a sinner? I. Who lies in the second chamber? This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. There's one that laugh in his sleep, and one cried murder, that they did wake each other. I stood and heard them, but they did say their prayers and addressed them again to sleep. Uh, their hearts watched together. One cried, God bless us, and unend the other, as they had seen with these hangman's hands. 
Listening to their feet, I could not say amen when they did say God bless it. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could not I pronounce amen? I had most need of blessing, but amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought after these ways. So what will make us mad? Methought I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth doth murder sleep. The innocent sleep, sleep that knits up the rattled sleep of care. The death of each day's life, sore liver's bath, balm of hurt minds, great nature's second course, cheap marriage. What do you mean? Still it cried, sleep no more to all the house. Glams had murdered sleep, therefore Coro shall sleep no more, Macbeth shall sleep no more. Who was it that thus cried? Why, worthy thing? You do unbend your noble strength to think so brain sickly of things. Go get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the face? They must lie there. Go carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think what I've done. Look on it again, Adano. Infirm. Sleeping and the dead are but as pictures. It is the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the grooms withal, for it must seem their guilt. That knocking. How is it with me when every noise appalls me? What hands I hear? Oh. They pluck out mine eyes. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my head? Heart so white. Looking at the south entry. Retire to our chamber. A little water clears us of this deed. How easy it is then. Poor Constancy hath left you unattended. We're knocking. Get on your nightgown, lest occasion call us and show us to be watchers. In your thoughts. Do not my deed. To a best not know myself. Wake Duncan with thy knocking! Oh, what thou couldst! 